Hey you guys, so I know it's been a while since I've done a video. Um, I've been really busy. Um, I am a full-time mom, so it's hard for me to get a break and um, you know make a video. But when I do have time, I try and record a couple and then just upload them through the week. Um, recently, I ordered some makeup brushes from eBay. And if you follow me on Instagram, it's glam, the letter N, gaudy underscore XO. Um, I posted photos and um, the link of where I had purchased them from because um, I found a similar set that someone on Instagram was selling for $50, not including shipping. And it was the same exact set, just in a different color. Um, this is a 24 piece and um, the seller was selling them for $8.50 but um, he was taking an offer so I offered $7.50 and he took it so that's what I got. So it comes in this pink pouch. It's like a little vinyl pouch. I guess it's like a, a replica maybe for the BH cosmetic uh, brushes. I'm not sure. So it's in this little pink pouch and it's you know like a little vinyl plastic. Um, and then you unroll it. And each brush comes with a little protective um, plastic on it, but I have used these. I used these this morning, so some of these are dirty. And they each come in their own little slot. And I've been using this, I want to say, almost two, maybe three weeks now. I've already washed them. I wash my brushes like every three or four days. Usually I wash them once a week, but with the heat the way it is and... I, you know, my skin's really oily right now, so I try and wash them after every use. Um, I'm not sure what each brush is for, what each brush does. I'm not, you know, an expert. They aren't labeled. Um, that's the only thing that I don't like. They're just pink and black. Here's a little spoolie brush. And see, they're just pink. They don't have, you know, labels. I'm going to go down the line of each brush. Um, there's a little highlighter brush, a little fan brush, a little eyebrow and eyelash comb, a little eyeshadow applicator, a small smudge brush, an eyeliner brush, and there's uh, three angled brushes. I use these for concealers and then for my eyebrows, so they are dirty. Sorry, guys. And like I said, I've already washed these like maybe three or four times. Here's a little lip gloss, lipstick brush, and they have not shed. Um, there's this brush. Here's another flat brush. I use this for concealer, so. A little small flat brush. Um, they were like really stiff when I first got them. That's why I immediately washed them as soon as I got them. And now they work, you know, just fine. They, Let's see, I already used that one, sorry. But see, they're, you know, there's no like shedding there's no issues with them I mean for 750 it's not bad at all they're you know they're I think they're pretty good quality for seven dollars here's these and then you get a foundation brush a blush brush, a little contouring brush. Notice those are the only brushes I know. <laughs> um, and then a powder brush. And then this large one. I haven't used this one yet. I guess you could use it for highlighting, illuminating, whatever. But yeah. Um, I have brushes. I have a few MAC. Um, I have a few ELF. And just, you know, random ones that I've picked up throughout the years. Um, but I really wanted, you know, a good a good set. And I had been shopping around, you know, for a while. And I know a lot of people are, like, iffy to purchase things on eBay. Because these came from, um, from a seller here in 
the United States from California. So within two days I got them. But I know some of them are from China. And they take a little longer to get here. Maybe two or three weeks if you guys watched my eBay video before. Um, some of you are usually iffy um, or have heard bad stories about not getting your your package or you know it taking forever but I mean if you use PayPal and you use like a reloadable visa or reloadable gift card um, if you have any problems you can usually just contact the seller they refund you or they can give you you know credit towards another item I thankfully have only had issues once and it was with jewelry like a couple months back but the seller um, you know refunded the money sent it back towards my PayPal and I had you know eBay credit so really that's the only like bad thing I know a lot of people you know freak out and I think if you can find something cheaper on eBay and it saves you you know a couple bucks you know then go for it I don't see anything wrong with it um, like I said I had found a, um, a shop on um, Instagram that was selling the same set for $50 I mean I know um, you have to make money if that's your business and your only ways, your only means of income. But at the same time, you know, why do you want to rip people off by selling something for so much when this was only seven dollars free shipping? Um, it, it I, in my opinion, I don't think that's right. Um, when I posted the pictures on Instagram, you know, a lot of my followers agreed with me because. I mean that's fine it'd be different if they were like a name brand like a Mac or a BH or a Sigma but they're just run-of-the-mill you know made in China brushes so you don't want to pay that much for them and then plus you don't know the quality until you purchase them so why are you gonna want to spend you know so much for a no-name brand brush but like I said these have been working good for me for the past two or three weeks there's no shedding um, there's no like loose hairs they work great on my eyeshadow um, so yeah I highly recommend them um, just go on eBay, type in makeup brushes if you want to do an auction. An auction is great too. You have the, the option of getting the thing for, for, you know, the item for way less. Or you can do a buy it now. And, you know, always check the, um, the seller's reviews. Like what people rate them on, on shipping, on how the package gets to you, if it was damaged. If, you know, if communication between the seller and, you know, a buyer. And, you know, if that will put you at ease when you purchase things on eBay. That's the only thing that I can say that you know I've learned using eBay for a couple years now so yeah um, if you guys have any questions leave them down below um, I'll try to upload another video um, over some lashes that I purchased off eBay so look for that thanks for watching